Good day, my friends. Your old pal Jay here. Now summer's coming. Spring's already here. And for us in Canada, a lot of the times, especially where I live, uh, it's snowing and crappy. And now that the warm weather is here, it really reminds me of a lot of childhood toy memories. I'm going to share one with you right now. Of course, right in front of me is the legendary Rhino from Kenner's Mask Line. Wow, where do I start with this one? I should first off start by saying that Rhino was a toy that I never had growing up. It's kind of strange. I remember playing Mask with my two buddies that lived in the neighborhood. And with Mask specifically, I remember we tried to not double up on the same toy. I mean, how cool is that? It's not that we had a collective collection together, uh, the three of us. But, you know, if someone was going to get Thunderhawk, you know, one of the two other guys wouldn't just so we would have almost the whole collection. And then we could share and pick pick characters that way. So I didn't have Rhino. I did not. Um, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but the way I was as a kid, me not having Rhino made me want it that much more. I mean... It's an incredible toy, don't get me wrong. But I remember not having it <laughs> made me want it even more. So almost every game, I would try my best to pick Rhino. I didn't always get first pick. Usually, though, when I did get first pick, psh, Rhino right here. Our mask adventures mostly were outside. Same with our G.I. Joe stuff. Uh, our, the neighborhood I grew up in was just incredible. Completely safe. Mm -hmm. And my two buddies lived directly behind me. So we literally would go like a half block kind of play radius. where We would play G.I. Joe, Mask, Transformers, Star Wars, you name it. And, you know, we were able to leave certain figures in certain vehicles in certain spots, which would be bases around the block with no fear of them disappearing, which was just great. I love the Mask cartoon. I I've said it before so many times the intro i think is my favorite favorite cartoon intro of all time probably my favorite uh, cartoon song of all time working overtime, that being said not a lot of our playtime with mask was based on any of the episodes i remember we kind of really just made up our own play scenarios same with gi joe we did that a lot with gi joe Anyway, back to Rhino, getting sidetracked with the memories. Back to Rhino. This guy here I acquired at Treehouse Collectibles uh, probably about a year ago, year and a half ago. If you guys haven't been to Treehouse Collectibles in Toronto, Ontario, and you're around this area, you need to go because it's really such a fantastic experience, uh, friendly people, uh, the staff is just great, and, and the collections they put out, I, I, I don't know what Chris does, Chris is the owner, I'm not sure if he waits till he has everything complete, but everything he puts out for the most part is completely cleaned off and complete, I recently got a bunch of D&D &D guys there, Missing nothing. That's just an incredible store. So I secured Rhino from there. I saw one of their social media posts. And uh, I, I bought a Rhino in a mask lot around 2002. Uh, it was missing a bunch. I mean, mask stuff back then. Mask has always been pretty expensive. But the lot I got was... It was kind of cheap because a lot of the stuff was broken. I didn't care. I just wanted Rhino. So, like on Rhino... Uh, my old one, the trailer here was missing, the back half. Uh, the door was missing, the chrome was worn. I think one of the tires is wrecked. But I had part of a Rhino, so I was content with that. Until I saw this one with the box from Treehouse, and it was just a no-brainer. Really reasonable prices, too. Check out Treehouse. They really don't make toys like this anymore. Mask is one of those lines that, uh, even to this day, I'm still in awe just how incredible the craftsmanship is that went into designing these vehicles. And yes, the figures I love as well. Just look at this baby. 
It is so beautiful. It's honestly one of the greatest toys in my collection. Back to the cartoon. Matt, I've got Scott on the radio. He's given us the map coordinates where the media fragments are to be sold. Patch me in, Alex. If memory serves me correctly, and I went through this series again about a year ago, maybe two years ago, Bruce Sato and Rhino were in almost every single episode. It was kind of like the mobile base of Mask. So it was a no-brainer to pick that. Bruce was a fantastic character. Matt, this is Bruce regarding the spacecraft. If a fish flies, look not for a fish, but a bird inside. And the fact that it came with my favorite character, which was Matt Tracker. And I got to say, maybe even, maybe even my favorite version of Matt Tracker. The mask that he comes with, I don't know if the logo is based on it. It's kind of loosely based on it, I think, but uh, I just love the mask, and I love just the colors of Tracker. Uh, the one that comes with Thunderhawk is fantastic. That mask itself is iconic. I don't know, though. I think I, I like the Rhino one. But the fact that the first wave of mask toys we got two different Matt Trackers was just, it was awesome. So whoever got to pick Rhino sometimes would get Tracker as well, so it was kind of like a two-in-one bonus. Bruce Sato, mechanical engineer, mechanical specialist, vehicle code name, Rhino. I miss the simplicity of those times. I miss just the uh, the joy, just the hours and hours of pure joy and just letting your imagination run completely wild, thinking up our own crazy mask stories. Do you guys collect masks? Did you back then? If you do now, leave me a comment right below there and let's uh, get a discussion going. I think this is, you know, an obscure toy line. I don't think it's been forgotten at all. Mask has always been up there uh, with toy collectors. Whenever you mention Mask, everyone just, even if they don't collect it, there's just this certain respect because this product from Kenner is just top notch. I've talked about... <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of reboots, uh, relaunching lines. I got to say, though, if if done right, this would be great. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if mask at a six inch scale would really work because if history serves us, you know, you're not going to get any kind of vehicles. And these guys uh, like Joe's really rely heavily on the vehicles. So, I mean, I would like a six inch mat tracker. We got the uh, the four inch Matt Tracker from the GI Joe twenty fifth anniversary, which was really cool. But I had like Miles Mayhem and all the other crazy characters. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I really do appreciate you listening to me talk about some childhood memories of Mask. Perfect. If you guys like the video, thumbs up. Let's spread the word, and please hit that subscribe button. It helps my channel grow. Each and every one of you who takes the time to watch my videos, I can't thank you enough. I really appreciate it. Until next time, my friends, take care.